Hey, what's up? My name is Adam. In this video, we're going to go over Etsy digital products. If you're somebody who is just getting started with digital products or you're someone who has owned a digital product storefront for years, regardless of where you are in your journey, this video is going to teach you a new setup that you can use to sell digital products off Etsy. You may be asking yourself, why would I be selling digital products off Etsy? Etsy was originally created in 2005 and it was based on a community site called Crafter, which brought together all types of makers and artisans and artists and craftspeople, all types of people who are making and producing physical products. When you look at the marketplace today, you'll notice that there's a heavy focus on physical products and accessories. Etsy from its beginning stages wasn't designed to sell digital products. And this is why there are some limitations when it comes to selling digital products on Etsy. The first limitation is the reliance on downloads as a mechanism for ultimately delivering digital products. If you're selling digital products on Etsy, they may get stolen, they may get redistributed, they may get resold. The second problem is that Etsy doesn't allow you to collect emails or use them for email marketing. In this new setup that I'm gonna show you, both of these problems are fixed. The setup uses Kahana to upload and curate files and resources into secure hubs that prevent anybody from downloading these files from copy and editing the text. It also allows you to collect emails from your customers and ultimately use them for email marketing. Before I dive too deeply into how exactly to do this setup, let's just take a quick look at what the setup actually looks like with some real examples of people using it right now. Amy is an awesome YouTuber and creator who focuses on providing useful resources and helpful tips to students. So what she's done is put a link to her own Kahana hub inside of her YouTube channel page. Let's go take a look at her hub. This is Wamey's hub of resources for getting internships and research opportunities. And you can learn a bit more about what's inside by reading the description. She set it up this way and added a cover photo. She's organized her digital products into different folders and created a contextualized list and structure, which makes it easy to navigate. Benjamin St. Juiced is an awesome pro athlete and creator who is using Kahana. He's essentially using a link in bio store with Pensite to create an online storefront, like a landing page to curate and showcase all of his digital products. He was able to create a quick carousel like this to display different hubs that he has. Now, if you're someone interested, let's say in dieting and training, you might want to click this and check it out. Benjamin is putting updated and ongoing information in here based on his own techniques and his own experiences. As you can see, he's also used a hierarchical product structure where he's including different types of digital products like planners and checklists and videos together in this hub. I hope those examples were helpful and give a better picture of what the setup is, what it looks like, how it works, and how it fits into the broader web presence that you're building. When it comes to the types of digital products that you can upload into a hub, you have a lot of flexibility. You can upload PDFs, videos, Google Docs, Google Sheets, other types of media like links. When you upload a PDF document, the quality will be preserved, so you don't have to worry about it looking different than you designed it. When you upload it to a hub, it'll come out exactly as you imagine it. Each hub of digital products can be thought of as its own unit or its own theme. And each hub has its own link associated with it that you can copy and paste and use across social media or your website to share. Each hub is a collaborative space in and of itself where you can manage other people like editors and commenters and admins and ultimately use it to scale out that digital products business. You can also select whether each hub is free or paid. And when it comes to a paid hub or a hub that you set a price on, you have the option to set a price as a one-time payment or a monthly subscription. When customers pay to access your monetized hubs, you're gonna get payouts automatically processed through Stripe. If you wanna chat with people and comment and have discussions in hubs, you can do that. There are chat threads where you can send messages and interact with people. And lastly, if you ever have any trouble, you can let us know in the comments here or you can reach out to our chat.
if you want to get started with setting up your digital products business off Etsy, I recommend checking out our crash course tutorial, which is a 15 minute video that goes step by step through the process of setting up Kahana completely from scratch. If you're already selling digital products on Etsy, you can definitely migrate products to Kahana and sell in both places. It's as simple as taking the files that you uploaded to Etsy and just uploading them to Kahana. If you have any questions about this setup or problems you run into while you're doing it, please let us know in the comments. If you have any ideas for future videos or specific topics you want us to cover in future videos, let us know in the comments. And if you're a fan of this type of content, feel free to give this video a like. It really helps with growing the channel and the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. We'll be consistently posting more content about digital products and how to build knowledge businesses. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope you have a great rest of your day.